Meanwhile, back in the A, what Meech peaked in regard to the dynamics in the Techwood organization was on point, right and exact. While the details at this time are unbeknownst to Meech and team, Claude ain't happy with the way things are moving. Steps to Remy back in Techwood. Claude drinking that BMF Kool-Aid. He feeling what Meech was putting down. Knowing it's going to be a hard way to go against the MKs by themselves. Now, Remy know what time it is. Although it might seem like what Claude talking about is the best way to move. Remy know BMF and Techwood, they can't never be allies. It's too much old, bad blood. Told Claude they got a death to avenge. But see, Claude ain't thinking about all of that. He want better weight, better weapons, something different. He ain't seeing that big picture. Remy tells him if we go with BMF, that's a guaranteed bullet to the head, player. And if you got a better plan, speak now or forever hold your mother peace, young Scrappy. <laughs> Claude don't got a better plan, so he don't speak. It's a little snarky up in there. You know, it's a little grumpy. <laughs> a little heated up in that piece. On the other side of town, Meech. Tina and Duffy out and about somewhere later that evening. You know, probably headed to look at some ass at the Platinum Palace. <laughs> you know, like, that's the only spot in town. But it's the happening spot, I guess, so that's where they at. Looking like they about to go and enjoy the night. Tina and Meech in the bins, following Duffy. A little bit distance behind his whip, but, you know, they together. Red dogs run up on Duffy at a stop sign. Meech and Tina fall back. Watch the red dogs get to him and Duffy up. Asking him what went down in Techwood. Red dogs look up, see Meech and Tina. Sick the dog on him. <laughs> you know, this is Georgia. But not before they piece up out of there. Now, Duffy doesn't make it back that night. A little bit of time goes by. Meech gets a little worried. Duffy and Laz ain't been released yet. And Meech now seeing how his crew dynamics are modified a little. Angel like, yeah, and Greeny been MIA also. You know, we ain't seen Greeny in a few episodes. Angel offers the ear hustle down at the club. You know how clients be knowing shit. At some point, Meech is moving about, coming out of diner. That Claude coming in appears Claude been following Meech. Wants to talk to Meech one on one. Meech hangs back. Claude wants to know Meech's plan to work with his crew. Meech tells him they're going to be partners, not competition. Meets tells Claude if he can make this happen, his slate is clean. All the dumb shit they had beef about, water under the bridge. But Remy got to go. Then Claude verbalized some filth that made my balls itch. Told Meech how Remy took care of him when he was younger. Said they were like brothers. Said Remy wanted him to avoid this life. Then he tells Meech Remy ass is out of here. And that he would talk to some cats who can get it done. That mother is usually the ones closest to you. F an enemy. You can see them coming. Pray every day. Say your grace. Play your keep the haters. Keep the demons away from me. Often them haters are closer than you think, old snaky ass. I hope he meet the same fate as Stax. Shot up, 
from his twat up. Meach like hell if you feel like that. Other ATL crews must also. You know that Remy got to go. Get at him. Tell him what's on the table. Holler back. Now BMF mainly can move like this because they got the best product on them streets. Claude know it and Meach know it. 